Hi everybody. So for the professional reading assignment, you will be creating a Google Slides slideshow. And so this video is just about making sure that you do what you need to do to make sure the Google slideshow is visible to me so I can see it, so I can grade it. Um, I'm actually looking at the assignment instructions right now. Um, and they are in a Google Doc, which works the same thing, same way. So something I have to do before I give you this Google Doc is make sure that you as a student can see it. And um, as a designer, I, I don't assume you'll be logged into your UWG Google Drive account. You might not be logged into any Google account at all, whether a personal one or your UWG one. So I generally like to make my assignment instructions. I like to share them so that they are just visible to the world. So I'm going to go in there and we'll just look at this one first and the Google slideshow will work the same way. So right now um, I'll hit get shareable link and right now it's set that anyone with the link can view and when I share this particular link in the class, which I'll do later on, then you should be able to see it. I could also add specific people here as well. I bet a lot of you know this already, but it's just something you have to think about when you create your artifacts online. So I'll hit done just to make sure that setting sticks and you can see now there's a little um, link icon now and if I hover over the share button it shows me the share settings. Um, so we'll put that aside and um, let's talk about sharing a Google slideshow. Creating one first then sharing it. I'm going to go ahead and show you in both my personal Google account that I use the majority of the time actually and then I'll show you in my UWG account as well a lot of you might be using that it's easier in a non UWG account to share but honestly it's almost the same either way you just have to read carefully and make sure you punch the buttons that you need to punch in order to make sure the sharing actually takes place um, in theory you should be able to just you know if you're logged into Google which I am right now you should be able to just go in any Google account, whether your UWG or a non-UWG Google account, and just go to drive.google.com. You know, if you're not logged in, what does it what does it do? If you're not logged in and you go there, it should do this. That. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and log in. It takes you to drive.google.com and then from here it and it should look the same in the West Georgia account I have my view set up a specific way and you can change that kind of thing I believe right here I'm in grid view right no I may not be in grid view yeah I like list view but um, anyway what you do is you create click new and Google slides that should create your new presentation. This is the thing that you'll be turning into the class. Eventually you'll be sharing this link with me so that I can just come right to the link and look at your presentation. You will name it. You can give it a name, you know, maybe put your name here. Uh, this is actually a digital citizenship opportunity for you. If you decide to make it public on the web, then maybe just put your first name in the um, slideshow. You don't have to put a bunch of identifying information. The same goes for how you guide your students um, or your clients in the future. When you're guiding them out on the web doing things, if they're creating web-based artifacts, you want to make sure you have all the permissions in line. Um, by that I mean don't put students' pictures out on the web, but sometimes you can because parents sign a permission form maybe as beginning at the beginning of the year they'll say it's okay to put my child's photo on the web um, for school events etc so you have to pay attention to that kind of thing generally just don't put their names out on the web their images private information that kind of thing so the same goes for you you have to make that decision you're making that decision for this you can um you can, so when you when we go to the sharing piece part of the decision will be do you just share it to just me your professor or do you share it with the whole world personally i'm still fairly comfortable in the online world so I wouldn't mind at least sharing my first name so maybe in the um, title you know you can say by by Kim whatever and you can just make it public and the world it won't, probably nobody will care and nobody will you know harass you for just putting your first name they won't know who you are so 
you have to make that decision. So if you want to just, if you're okay with making it public, publicly available, just put your first name and that'll be fine. If you're not okay with that, then you should be safe to actually add more name, like your la add more information like your last name. All right, so I'm getting a little too much in the weeds, but you do need to decide um, on those things. All right, so we've we've put a title for present. We've created the presentation. We've put a title up here. You do want to do that. Don't just leave it untitled. Um, and you can wait till the end to really make the title what you want it to be. This is important to me. Uh, I use Google Drive all the time, and so titles are very important. They help me find my documents. Um, and so don't title it for me so much as for you. Um, and then over here, let's let's get to the sharing. Let's look at our options. To share this thing, we could just click Get Shareable Link. That means anyone with the link can view. Um, you would, you know, grab it if you want, copy it. And um, that's what you can submit to me in the Dropbox. You do have to attach a document in the Dropbox to actually get it to submit. So you could put it in a Word document if you wanted to, and then I can open it from there. Um, so that's one way to share. That's one quick way to share. If you don't want it with anyone on the link can view, rather you say off, only specific people can access, then you can um, add me to it as an email. So my email is, let me type it out, okay, Hewitt at westga.edu. That's in the syllabus. I think it's in the instructions. Let me look really quickly. Yes, it's in the instructions on page one right here. Okay, Hewitt at westga.edu. You can just add me using that and click send and then I'll I actually prefer that you don't do that you can do it if you want it's fine but um, I prefer not to because that creates just more email messages and stuff like that it's a little more elegant if you just share the link you just create a web page basically um, so those are the two ways to share a, a Google slideshow presentation but what about in the West Georgia world um, you may have to go through my UWG to log into your Google Drive, but hopefully you can also go to drive.google.com and um, just input your UWG email address and hit Organizational G Suite and put in your your uh, password. Looks very similar once you get inside. Uh, click, click New, Google Slides. You're going to do that same thing where you give it a title at some point. It just doesn't look good when you just have untitled. So title it, and then when you get to the sharing piece, um, you can either, you can um, get shareable link. And notice how this is different. This says anyone at UWG with the link can view. That's fine if you do that. Um, that gives you a little bit more safety to where if somebody came across this on the web, they'd have to be a UWG student or staff member to see it. That dramatically reduces how many people are going to see this presentation. Chances are nobody's going to stumble across it, but only UWG people could see it if they're logged into their UWG. So that's how the sharing works, the default sharing works on um, the UWG uh, Google. Of course, you can um, turn that off. And you can just add me, khewitt at westgod.edu, and click send. That's, but that's not how you submit it. Okay, you still need to submit the link in the Dropbox. I'm just showing you how you share it really quickly. Um, and then let me show you that you can actually go in deeper. If you go in, if you do a little bit of clicking, you can go in deeper and have full sharing rights, just like on an outside Google Drive. So get you can go to this Get Shareable link, and then you go to the drop down and then you ignore all this anyone at UWG business and you go to more and then notice that it expands your options you can have um, on public on the web so anyone on the internet can find and access this uh, you've got anyone with the link this is a little bit more restricted so they, they this is easier to find the top one's easier to find the next one is not as easy to find um, if, but if the person gets the link in their email somebody shares this link then they can um, anybody can access it and then of course you've got these other access options here right now all of these are options for viewing but if you did this drop down you can actually make it editable to anybody on the web so even the UWG Google has full um, rights it's just it takes a few more clicks to get in there again you have to um, when you go into your sharing setting 
you go do this drop down and then you click more to get these more options and then you've got to decide between view edit and comment all right so the sharing is actually not always easy people often forget so make sure just make sure that when I get to it I'm able to see it whether you make it publicly viewable or you share it with my email address either one is fine um, in the Dropbox though it will probably be necessary for you to create a Word document I'm trying to open it right now I'm gonna pause for just a second so it will probably be care, uh, necessary to create a Word document it took about 90 seconds to open that up but it was good to pause you I probably should have waited a little longer before unpausing you because as you can see it's taking a long time but basically what I was going to say was open a Word doc paste the link to your Google slideshow in that save it then upload that to Corsten that's probably the best way to submit it it's not great I wish that you could submit Dropboxes with just putting things in the comments the way you could in the previous learning management system. Hmm. Yeah. So there I've, I've um, pasted a link in, you save that, you upload that, and that's all I'm saying. All right, so it's a very thorough, long video about something pretty simple. However, it gets lots of my graduate instructional technology students snagged, so thought I'd be thorough. Thank you.